Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be seeing more and more about the pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. Now in one of our previous videos, we have already covered that what is a pivot table and how can you create one for yourself in Microsoft Excel. So to just revise your concept on the pivot tables, uh, let me just revisit it once again. The difference between a normal table and a pivot table is that a normal table has a static data while a pivot table contains of a dynamic data. So if you want your data to change according to the filters regularly, then you got to choose a pivot table. Not only that, uh, the data that is shown in a pivot table can also be changed very easily with just a simple click. So that is uh, all about the pivot table and its advantage. As you already might have noticed that being dynamic in nature, it is used widely for the purposes of presentations. And another concept related to pivot table is that of a pivot chart, which we have already covered in our previous videos. So in this video, we are going to see more about pivot tables. Once you have created a pivot table and you want to just um, change its appearance or customize it, as per your wish, then how can you do that? Because there is a default settings with some pivot tables, which sometimes you don't want to see. Sometimes you want to customize it as per your choice. So how can you do that? That is all uh, what we are going to see in our today's video. This will help us get a better understanding of how the pivot table works and how we can apply our own rules over it. Okay. So first of all, let's start with our discussion. Uh, on your screens, you all could see this uh, data table. Now this data table has uh, some columns in it. What I want to do is I want to create a pivot table out of these columns. And uh, what do I want is that they should be grouped with order date. In the order date column, you all can see that there are sim uh, several dates of the years 2018 and 2019. So what do I want is that uh, I want some kind of a formatting like this that once the year 2018 should be visible and within it there should be a subheading like for the month Jan then for the month of Feb and like this I want my data to be visible. So this is my goal to create a pivot table out of it. So how can I do that? Okay, uh, so for that first of all you got to create a pivot table and we already know the procedure but I'm going to reiterate it just place your cursor or select an active cell within your data source go to the insert tab and there in the tables group you will find this pivot table and once you click on it you can see that whole of your data source is already selected but if you want to just confirm it you can just check it once then check your uh, pivot table uh, to be placed on the existing worksheet and select any cell as your desired location so i'm going to select this cell then click on OK and once you do that, you can see that your pivot table is already created, but it asks you with uh, that what fields are going to be your pivot table fields. OK, so first of all, I'm going to grab this order date for the rows column because this is going to be my rows. And once you just click on it, you can see that uh, this pivot table has added the year 2018 and the year 2019. So that was my goal. Exactly. But if you just expand it, then you can see that these uh, data are first grouped into the quarters format, like quarter one, quarter two, and so on. And now if you expand this quarter format, then I'm getting these months data. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted them to be just customized or grouped on the basis of 2018 and 2019 years. And then generally the months should be there. But uh, I'm not getting the desired result. So how can I get it? I will show you in just a moment but before that let me just get my columns over here which is going to be this name columns so you can see that uh, all the names of the people who have purchased something are shown over here and uh, if you want i can also get this names in the values column which shows that uh, in which month which person has uh, purchased how many things so this is exactly the data that i want to show uh, I'm going to sort the data by names and uh, on every month, how much product that person has brought or bought. Okay, so I'm happy with my data. And once you're happy with it, you can just close it. 
now it's time to work with our uh, table so if you just go to this uh, row labels so this is not exactly the data that i wanted so you can just right click over here and once you do that you will see this option of ungroup you can click on it and once you click on it you can see all these dates have been ungrouped and it looks messy so what i'm going to do is group it firstly on the basis of months and then on the basis of years because this is kind of an hierarchy where the first things first which means the first um, or the innermost criteria of grouping is going to be the months so that is why i'm going to group it with the help of months so how can i do that uh, just select any cell right click go to group and when you do that you can see that this months is by default selected so i'm going to go with it only and then click on okay so now this data has been grouped into different months like january to december but i don't know that which data is for which year like i don't know if uh, this jill has brought this uh, in the year 2018 january or the year 2019 january but i want that data so how can i do that uh, simply click on any this cell uh, like this okay you got to select one cell uh, right click sorry you got to select one cell here <clears throat> yeah right click group and then you will find that there is years option also present over here so you can just click on years and when you click on okay you can see that the data has now been grouped exactly into the manner that we wanted first of all is the year 2018 and then there are all these months january to december now uh, one thing more uh if you go to this year 2019 you can see only the data from january to november is available and december is not even mentioned the reason being we do not have any data for the month of december 2019 and this is an added advantage that you don't get uh, any kind of uh, blank data uh, you only get where the data exists okay so if you want you can just collapse it and this is the consolidated format but this is the default appearance of the pivot table what if you want to change this appearance how can you do that so to change this appearance what you got to do is make sure uh, your active cell is inside your pivot table then you got to go to this design tab now this is the design tab uh, where you can just choose a custom style for your uh, pivot table suppose i choose this or anything that you want you can choose it as per your wish this is something that i like so i'm going to go with it and if you just expand your columns now so this is kind of uh, looking good to me i like it so i'm going to go with it but uh, still there are some things that are predefined like uh, predefined you got the row headers predefined you get the column headers if you want to just uh, stylize it as per your choice how can you do that you can go to this row headers option see this is checked you can uncheck it and you can see that these row headers have been removed if you want to uh, grow it back then it has come back okay similarly with the column headers i'm just going to turn it on like this you can also toggle with the column headers as per your choice then you have banded rows now what is this banded rows for better visibility you can go with banded rows if you just click on it then uh, actually it is not working with this format so let's select this format yes so these are banded rows if you just uncheck it it is simple but if you just check it then there are alternate bands over the rows for better visibility similarly with the help of the banded columns you can also uh, band your columns like this the alternate columns would be banded like this and if you want you can just decrease its appearance a little bit or you can just or check it okay yes so this is what we have got or uh, this is how you can customize your uh, table your pivot table and one thing more that we already know if you want to filter some kind of data how can you do that um, you can just go to row labels suppose i don't want uh, the data of the year 2018 i only want to show the data of year 2019 simply you can just click on 2019 and click on okay from this if uh, you want to apply this filter only then you can just go to clear filter from years then you can apply it in a more simplified fashion how is that you can go to row labels data filters or sorry date filters and then go to last year because this year is 2020 you can go to last year and automatically it will filter it for you the year 2019 data is visible 
so that is about how the filters can be applied similarly for the column labels also if you want only some uh, filters like for Morgan and uh, parent or Harvard I want these data to be visible and click on OK so since uh, there was no data for parent in the year 2019 and only Harvard and Morgan's data was available that is why we have got these two columns only so that is how you can customize the pivot table in the next video also we are going to explore more about pivot tables that's all for this video thanks for watching